small and medium businesses contribute close to 40% of India's GDP and also one of the largest employers of India's workforce. And given India's ambitious programs of both Digital India and Make in India, SMBs play an important role and their adoption of digital technologies is extremely important to be able to service their customers and also the global markets. And the only way SMBs can become competitive and grow and have a growth trajectory is by going digital. Obviously, there are also vulnerabilities that they're exposed to, cyber risks that they're exposed to, and we are increasingly seeing businesses across the world and in India being subject to risks both from a business and reputation perspective. So it's a great time for uh, SMBs to come up, and a great time to start up. So one of the biggest uh, challenges that uh, basically gets neglected is cybersecurity. Almost every SMB is using computers and uh, is using IT as a facilitator. If you're not really serious about uh, security uh, and we're not watching out for security, we get hit and it's, it's a disaster from that point also. Cybersecurity is a very important uh, aspect of any business, not uh, just for uh, an IT or a financial firm. In our business as well, because uh, a lot of data and clientele information needs to be private and secure, otherwise it can be misused. Smallest issues, you know, uh, SMBs tend to share. People working in small, medium organizations are, uh, you know, uh, easily seem to share passwords. They, uh, you know, give away passwords, use the same password, use the same accounts uh, across multiple uh, users. So I think these are the most common mistakes because simple passwords are getting guessed very easily. And uh, once you have a password, you have almost all the information that, that you're currently working on. Passwords are very important, even for laptops of an employee to the machines, because if any employee gives away passwords very easily, systems can be hacked. They can definitely break into our systems and hamper production. So if production stops, that can cause a lot of loss, and eventually we might even lose certain clients. So passwords are a very important aspect of cybersecurity. One easy solution for that is to use password managers. Password managers that don't keep passwords in the cloud, but keep passwords on locally on the system. So you can back up the, uh, back up the drive and keep it on your pen drive and keep it safe. So in the SMB, uh, you, a typical office has uh, a server room with servers and it's got space for people to work and then there is a receptionist you would easily tend to assume that uh, the server room and the server inside are extremely important while the uh, the receptionist and, and the machine that he or she is using is less important. Cybersecurity is rather exploited in the way of trust. When a receptionist logs into a server, he or she has a, a certain amount of trust on that particular server. So if I can break into even a receptionist machine, I have enough credentials to break into the server from there. Uh, the smallest device which is you know left uh, lingering on, on your network, your receptionist machine or your printer can actually shut down your whole production. Shutting down of a network system of an organization is not very easy. It can only be caused by negligence of an employee. It is not easy to break into a network system. If your laptop or your computer is being used uh, by someone else and you're not aware of what he or she is doing, your, your company can be open to uh, cyber crime. So I think uh, giving equal attention to every part of your environment is, is very critical. Another big challenge I would say is uh, people leaving their laptops or desktops signed in when they're leaving for lunch, right? I mean, imagine uh, you go for lunch and you just leave your laptop open. Uh, somebody walks in, can very quickly, you know, it takes seconds to install a malware. This malware can uh, listen to all the keystrokes that you're pulling in. Employees should be encouraged to keep their laptops locked when they go for a coffee or a lunch break. This keeps their own data as well as the company's data secure and prevents uh, cyber crime. In this manner, tons of uh, you know uh, credit card accounts are stolen, uh, bank accounts are stolen, and uh, you know we lose a lot of information. Money is lost based based on this. I mean, very simple thing like locking your uh, desktop when you, when you go out. 
virus is probably the first problem that we ever encountered but that is not gone away unfortunately so no matter how much infrastructure and technology that we build viruses still remain why do viruses spread right simple things dad gives me a file uh, i ask for a movie from a friend uh, somebody else gives me uh, I, I download something which is very innocuous from the from the internet and a virus gets onto my machine virus can auto install itself it's a soft piece of software that can do bad things it can steal data viruses are a major problem when it comes to cyber security we have faced uh, such problems in the past even for a solar panel manufacturer like us uh, we have made sure that our cyber security uh, systems in place scan all our files and emails that come in uh, to our network so we are completely secure uh, very important to be safe even for an smb i think the the big challenge is uh, to be to have a process in which files are copied and cleaned or checked before they, they are actually installed on a machine or used on a machine. For an SMB, meaning of cybersecurity is something that shouldn't be ignored. It should be part of your drill right from the start. Right? When you're starting off, cybersecurity and hygiene should be, uh, your users must be aware of cybersecurity. And although you don't need to spend big bucks and big dollars on cybersecurity and protecting your infrastructure, but uh, human uh, human capability of creating damage is extremely high. So, if you have the right hygiene and the right process, I think you're safe uh, till you grow big. The key important point for SMBs is that they're very leanly staffed to manage technology internally. So they're mostly relying on solutions on the web, solutions on the cloud, solutions outsourced to partners. Because of which, I think a very clear plan in terms of risk mitigation to the threats of technology in terms of cyber risk is relatively weaker compared to a large enterprise or a large mid-sized company. Because of which I think a lot of investments have to go both from government and stakeholders like the DSEI so that we build the capability not only in the entrepreneurs who run these businesses, in the management teams, but also on their current workforce and future workforce so that the best practices of cyber safety, cyber security, being online, being having a safe experience online is followed.